What is Sundance 2017? How is it different? Well, <laughs> there is an inauguration going on, so that makes it a little different. We've added a whole um, um, kind of a attention to climate change, so it has a there is a theme in, a, in effect which we hardly ever do. Um, I think it's about there's a I think it's about independent film, and there's a human side to independent film, which I think is what it does best. It lets you into different kinds of stories, different kinds of people, different issues in ways that are much more human and with dimension and allow us to um, um, really grow closer together as people. I think that's what independent film does. For those that are watching this that may not have a chance to ever come to Sundance, you, I, I, I read that you get over 4,000 submissions from around the world. What is the criteria? How do you sit there and narrow films down? Well, we have a we have a, a whole way of dealing with that. Of course, we have a whole process, and it's even over four thousand. We have eight thousand shorts, over eight thousand. It's cream will rise. It goes to people, they screen, they come up. In the end, it's nine of us in a room arguing a lot, and um, in the end, it's well, I make the final choices, but it's the films we love get in the festival. From what I understand, over 32 foreign countries have submissions here. How important is it to show a perspective from things outside the United States? Well, it's something we committed ourselves to. We started the, the world cinema competition, both documentary and other. I think it's important. You know, it means a lot to these filmmakers. I think it's changing their lives almost more than the Americans. Americans is a big career boost, but there's, there's filmmakers here that are touching on taboo subjects. There are filmmakers from foreign countries that would never get funded in their own countries. And then they go back and they're celebrities in a different way. I mean, Sundance like lifts them up. They get to override a lot of maybe political stuff to be able to keep making movies. You mentioned the word celebrity, and obviously this was founded by a major celebrity, Robert yes. Redford. How much is he involved year in and year out? I mean, obviously he could kind of sit back and let you, know, you as the festival director do the work, but how much does he get involved? He does let us sit back. He never interferes with the selection process. He's a big idea guy. He's the one that we met with in the summer and we talked about why aren't there more films about the environment. And he's the one who kind of encouraged us to think different. And he's, he's always, you know, he's, he's what I call, he's that glass half empty and I'm gonna have to be that glass half full guy. So he's made me the cockeyed optimist that I don't really wanna be. Just a last question for you. You're actually exporting the Sundance brand. You're doing yes. versions in foreign countries. How has that evolved? How, how impressed are you with that? We, um, we started, we really did it to take American films outside of our borders and to create. So we do it sort of as outreach, too, to find other filmmakers. So we're in um, London right now. We're in Hong Kong. Um, we do one in L.A., which is a very down and dirty, music-y filled festival. And I think... Um, we might look at other places to go, you know, as long as there's audiences out there that, you know, it's fun to take the filmmakers there too, because we get to live with them in a different way than this. This is chaos when we meet the filmmakers. We're there, you're actually hanging with them and having a really good time.